guys, it's Jess from Hunka Hunka Burning Reviews, and um, I just have a couple videos to get done today, not too many, um, sorry the lighting is horrible, it is um, almost 1 in the morning, and I felt like doing some videos, so um, that will explain why the lighting is bad, and I look horrible, but it's not about me, it's about the products. So, let's jump right in. This is the first product. It's from BYB, and it is a two-in-one crap. <laughs> Not a two-in-one crap. <laughs> it is a two-in-one lantern flashlight mix, and I just realized I don't have the batteries. So, hold on one second, and I will run and get them. Okay, I had to grab the remote so I can swipe the batteries from it. But anyway, um, this is what it is. And this is all plastic with a metal handle. You can see right there on the end, that's where the flashlight part would be. And if you turn this and lift it up, you can see the lantern part which is super cool. I'm going to put it down. Um, over here is the button and it has um, three modes. I'll tell you about them while I am putting the battery in. Um, or batteries, sorry. It takes three triple A's. Uh, it has three modes. It's supposed to be high, low, and um, strobe. So, got these in, and it even has a handy dandy little arrow so you know which way to stick it in, which is great. Um, I'll show you the lantern first, and I'm assuming you click it three times. There is one strobe. Okay, there doesn't seem to me, there doesn't seem to be a difference between low and medium at all. Or sorry, high and low. Maybe it's just me or my batteries, but there doesn't seem to be a difference. And here is the flashlights. Like I said, it might just be... me but um I'm thinking maybe it is the batteries I am not quite sure I'm using rechargeable batteries so maybe that's it but I don't see much of a difference between the low and the medium or sorry why do I keep saying medium the low and the high um and I on the lantern or the flashlight part so I I don't know. Um, most of ours, when we go camping, we use solar lanterns, solar lights, all that fun stuff so that we can just charge it during the day and then use it all night. The fact that this has batteries would really detour me from taking it on a camping trip because I don't want to pack all the batteries, spend all the money to you to buy the batteries, especially if we're going to be somewhere for a few days. I would rather have the solar ones, but if um, I would probably use this for the kids when they're getting up at night to go to the bathroom. They can just take this out and hopefully have enough light to be able to see to get to the bathroom or possibly if they're just out in the backyard with a tent, just camping in the backyard 
uh, or we're having a bonfire in the backyard, something they could use this for that, and I think that that would really be okay for something like that. But as far as a camping trip, I don't think I'm possibly if I if we just needed an emergency something if the solar lights quit we could have this in our vehicle or somewhere just in case but as far as actively using it on a camping trip I don't think that it's possible for us maybe for your family but I just don't want to spend the batteries and have to store and bring all the batteries that I would need for an extended camping trip but it is made well it looks cool I like the idea of it um, possibly if I went out and bought brand new batteries instead of the rechargeable ones I could see a difference in <coughs> how it lights up but for now uh, I would definitely most likely like I said not use it for camping unless it was an emergency and all the other lights um, went out but for other things I could definitely see using this and like I said it is a cool design and I love the fact that it can be a lantern or a flashlight so it's really on you uh, you can use this it doesn't have to be camping just because it says camping you can use it for whatever you want but uh, I'm going to put the link down below. You can go and you can check it out on Amazon. You can see some reviews from other people and you can read more about the product there. Like I always say, don't just take my word on it. I am not giving this a bad review. I'm just saying that for us, it wouldn't be for camping. It would definitely be for other activities. So definitely check it out yourself. And of course, as always, if you go and buy it, please come back and... Um, Put down below in the comments just what you think of it, how you are going to use it or have used it. And uh, I thank everybody for watching. And I hope everybody has a great night, day, afternoon, whatever time it is. When you're watching this, I hope it's great. Thanks, guys.